Wakey, wakey. Good morning. Welcome back to a new day, a new adventure. We are up at 2 a.m. because it is travel day. And honestly, I feel like I didn't even sleep at all. <laughs> I probably have like an, two hours of sleep, maybe. So that's great. But I'm excited for today. However, three days ago, I woke up with a cold. You might be able to hear a little bit now, but it'll go away throughout the day a little bit. So I've been trying to speed run this cold. But let me tell you, the doggos are absolutely pumped. And they don't even know why. They don't even know why. But Pascal is so pumped. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? What? <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, happy doggy. I don't know if you could hear it on camera. But the neighbors set up a wind chime last night and uh, very creepy at 2 a.m. <laughs> to help speed run this cold, we've been taking these salty immunity super shots. Oh, every time, every time. And I found that we had another perfect bar Perfect travel day breakfast. Hi, Yuki. Can I have a hug? Yes, hug. Good boy. Good boy, hug. Oh my goodness. Bags are packed into the car. And we are off. Quick stop at Sheets to fill the car up, but look, nobody. <laughs> I don't think I've ever been to a Sheets where there was just nobody here. I don't know <laughs> what's going on. I mean, it is. 3.20 in the morning. <laughs> and just like that, we've made it to the airport, parking at 9B and oh, look at that, it's the moon. And let me tell you, driving through Pittsburgh at 4 a.m., one of the smoothest experiences driving through Pittsburgh ever. There was one other person on the bridge with us. One. Oh, does it feel nice? Now I have to sprint through the airport. We get to relax, take our time, as long as we don't take forever in secure. Fingers crossed. Past security across the shuttle, got the Starbucks, and look, our plane's here. One thing though is last time when we came here, when we went through security, we didn't have to take any of our electronics out of our bags. This time they made us. Not sure why the switch up. How you feeling now? You got some food in you? Better? A little Tired. more awake? Tired. You excited for the trip? No. That's a lie. She's been... She said that she's going to sing everyone a song here before we board the plane. <laughs> After five hours on the plane, oh my god, finally get to stretch our legs, and we've arrived at our destination. But they have slot machines everywhere in the airport. I mean, I guess you won't get bored if you have a layover or just waiting for your flight. <laughs> and just like that, welcome to fabulous Vegas. But let me tell you, this airport is massive, massive. And so the entrance to this hotel, insane. We just, what? <laughs> I mean, come on, look at this. All right, we can't check in yet until they're done cleaning the room, but look, Chloe's already on the machine. Is this the first spin of Vegas? Yeah. Oh my god. The first spin, here we go. Oh. Uh... <laughs> look at this. All in the Cosmo. Second floor of the hotel, they got these little army guys holding up the TV stand. They got a bunch of different shops and restaurants. And then connected to the hotel is the pedestrian bridge. You can go over to the Aria or over to these shops. Oh, look at the architecture there. Tiffany, Tom Ford, Louis Vuitton, Prada. And there's a look at the hotel, the Cosmopolitan, with the Bellagio in the back. We haven't eaten in like six, seven hours, and we were planning on going to Whataburger right there, but it's like eight lanes of traffic, so I think we have to go back across the pedestrian bridge, across the street, and back to Whataburger. So we ended up in the Ritchie Ritchie room. <laughs> Got Canva Goose Balenciaga. And since we can't check into our room yet, I don't think we're in the right attire to be in. <laughs> 
And after going the whole way back around, we made it. First ever time trying Whataburger, we just wanted to grab a quick bite, but the music was absolutely blaring. But overall, the burger was okay. It wasn't anything special to write home about. It was definitely better than like a McDonald's burger, but it kind of had that like same feeling and texture of like a Burger King burger, if that makes sense. And as we were eating, we got a notification that our room is ready. So room tour, coming over here to the left, we have a nice couch, a really, really big TV. That's at least a 55, maybe 60 inch TV right there. Insane. Nice little snack and drink bar here with an iPad. Oh wait, it's actually an iPad. A big closet here, and whoa, light shut off. Light come back on. There we go. <laughs> big old closet there. The bathroom, double mirror, double sink. A big shower with a tub, a king size bed, another TV by the bed. You can also see the tub from here. The thing on the bed here, these are cool. Little reading lights, pop it out. Boom, 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 boom. Thought that was pretty cool. USB C's in the lamps, that's good to know. No USB C's? What? But then, the fountain view of the Bellagio. Caesar's Palace. We got the sphere right there, the Eiffel Tower. Look at that, the mountains in the background. Like it just looks insane. Like what a view. What a view, what a view. <laughs> It doesn't even look real. And I do want to say, bear with me over this next week. There's going to be a lot of chaos, a lot of shenanigans, just a lot of randomness. We're probably going to be jumped from place to place, back and forth. So just bear with me throughout this week. And hope you guys do enjoy the videos. Back out of the room, heading over to the Bellagio. Oh yes, darling, the Bellagio. Probably says this has a very old school, like uh, Hollywood Tower of Terror vibe to it. You guys let me know what you think. And I mean, look, even the font. <laughs> it's like that old school Hollywood font. Look at that though. Yo, yeah, the Bellagio coffee and bakery. What? A chocolate fountain? But where is this casino? What on earth? Look at the front lobby here. Oh my god, this is a completely different vibe. <laughs> they have a live pianist? What? Look at that. Ooh, the Bellagio is fancy. Tried our hand at our first blackjack table of the week. Let's just say we're not up. <laughs> we're not up. But check out this fountain outside of Caesar's Palace. Okay. Look at the view. Ooh. Just the whole architecture of everything is insane. There's a Nobu Hotel. Is there a Nobu restaurant here? Caesar's Palace. Let's check it out. Whoa. The Bellagio had a massive casino, probably the biggest we've seen so far. Checking out Caesar Palaces. And I gotta say, they got a real nice lounge over here. A bunch of different table games, some slot machines. It's definitely a lot more spaced out. I can see a lot more games back that way as well. The Palace Court, look at that. All right, sitting here trying to figure out what Easy Craps is. All right, when you're ready. Uh, when you're ready. What happened? <laughs> what, do you gotta hit this thing? What's it? Do you have a button on your side? Yeah. Oh, we're gonna hit roll? What's going on here? How do you do that? Oh, we got it to work. Oh, we got $4. <laughs> hold on, hold on. $81 by $20 and we're up four times. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, now, now she's addicted. Now, now we're locked in. I have in. no idea how this works, but I just doubled or like quadrupled our money. We, we figured it out. So you got different options here and you have your different wind conditions on the right here. So go ahead and roll that. That's uh, seven for a six and a one. You lost it all. So after we were playing at Crabs in the Link Casino, we stopped over at O'Shea's to get a frozen Bailey's. Recommended by Travel Ruby at all. Oh. So good, so good. And we are back. 
four more. Walking out of the lake, and what is going on here? We got two gorillas, Bumblebee, and Master Chief. What is happening? And the Mandalorian. <laughs> what is going on? And Spider-Man. <laughs> Back at the hotel trying to find our restaurant, and we were just getting off the elevator. No joke, the lights started shutting off. But Chloe said they do it every time. Okay, so where we're going is on the third floor, Beauty and Essex. But it said it's hidden behind a pawn shop entrance. So we have to find it by five. It gives us 16 minutes. <laughs> Confidence level on finding it then? Yeah. Hi. Yeah. One out of ten? Yeah. <laughs> Yo, what is this thing? Looks like it'd be from like Star Wars on like Tatooine or something. What? I don't know who said this was it. But okay, first time on the third floor? It's looking good. I like the vibe of this. STK, a steakhouse here, is also supposed to be really, really good. But today, Beauty and Essex. Oh yeah, look, pawn shop. Okay, so it is kind of hidden. Beauty and Essex, Lower East Side. It's locked, it's locked right. Look at that. Popping into the pawn shop. You know what? I have like a pawn shop. Hey. Oh, similar, yeah. Straight in back. Oh, and oh man, check out the vibe in here. The menus, okay. All right, we got a drink to share. It's it called is. Bubbles and Berries and has champagne, Grey Goose vodka, Saint Germain liquor, and muddled shot. All try. right, let's see. Uh, oh. <laughs> Alright, let's give it a go. Mm, yep. Sour cake in there. It gives you that like... It's like a, yeah, yeah, it's shot like a sour cake at the end. It does taste pretty good though. Yeah. Item number one on the menu, grilled cheese, smoked bacon, and tomato soup dumplings. Oh, it looks so good. I eat this thing. <laughs> yeah. That is good. That is so good. Wow. All right, two items showed up now. A little French dips and the kale and apple salad. Look at the mountain on that. A little French dip first. That's not bad. But I think the grilled cheese is still better right now. A little bit of the kale and apple salad. I mean, it's kind of refreshing, but yeah, it's okay. And lastly, the seared scallops. Oh, so good. Oh, that is so good. Uh... <laughs> Let me give it a taste here. That was pretty fishy. Pretty fishy. Went back up to the room to change, get on something a little bit warmer since it's getting nighttime here in the desert, it's gonna be cold. But overall, what do you think of the Beauty and Essex experience? Three out of ten. Three? I don't know, I got that far. The, the whole hidden behind the pawn shop, really cool. The atmosphere inside, really cool. The wait staff and everything, super, super nice. But I would say the only food that really, like, blew my mind was the grilled cheese and you didn't even like it yeah so, no. not for me. i don't know but other than that the food was just like yeah and i was really really pushing for the scallops this wasn't it but no we're waiting for our uber to go to fremont street look at this what the heck they got a white castle <laughs> we'll not be going there it's like day also, on the way, our Uber driver pointed out the gold and silver pawn shop. We passed it by, which I thought was pretty cool. Shouts out to him for doing that. You wouldn't even know that it's 7 o'clock at night. It's black outside. This is like broad daylight. <laughs> the Four Queens and the Fremont Casino. See, I feel like this is kind of like what I had in my mind when I thought of it. Yeah, I love this. The Golden Nuggets and Binions. Like, look at this place. It is insane. And if you didn't know, if you see these wires right above me, you can zip line the length. Oh, perfect timing. 
You can zip line the length of Fremont Street. <laughs> yeah, do you want to do it? No, not even a little bit. Ah. I should have brought the GoPro. And just like that, we are back from Fremont Street. What a crazy experience. I think the lack of sleep is just really, really getting to me now. Today being our travel day, we've been up for over 24 hours traveling across the country to get here. But I just, look at this. Look at that. That is insane. What a view, what a view. But I, like I did say earlier, guys, the vlogs this week, hopefully you enjoy them because they are travel, different adventures, different scenery. But they're probably going to be a little jump, jumpy and uh, sporadic. But th that's just because there's a lot going on or maybe not so much going on. We'll just have to wait and see how the week pans out. But either way, hopefully you guys do enjoy the vlogs and nonetheless. Because I'm having a ton of fun recording them for you guys. A ton of fun adventuring. I'm so happy that I get to share it with you. So if there is ever anything you guys want me to try, let me know down below in the comments and we'll give it a go. One thing I will say about Vegas is I'm surprised about how many kids I've seen here. I wasn't expecting to see any, any kids, especially like the four to seven age gap. I don't know, I just, the, I, I wasn't expecting it. <laughs> Tomorrow we have some more events and shows planned. So I've been bringing you guys along with me for as much as I can. Some of the shows I might not be able to bring you guys along with. But tonight we experience Fremont Street. Tomorrow night we're going to experience what the strip is like at night. And I gotta say, talking to a couple of the locals that are from around here, they're like, oh, I don't know, it's like 60s, 50s, high 50s, low 60s, and it's kind of cold. I'm like, this is great. This is great weather. This is great. <laughs> but I just love looking at all the lights. Like, look at the sphere right now. That is incredible. That's incredible. Insane. You can't even, I just realized, there's a mountain range right there. Game to it. <laughs> also, if you guys didn't miss it at the beginning of the video, I did say I was, had a cold three days ago. We've been trying to speed run it. You can probably hear it in my voice a lot right now. It's just because I'm super tired. Hopefully, after some rest, tomorrow will feel absolutely amazing. But stay tuned for that for tomorrow. If you guys are interested, well, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, to the bell for notifications. I'll catch you guys right back here in the next one. Peace out.